What is up my brethren? My name is Arctic and today I have some Gears of War gameplay and discussion for you guys. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, multiplayer maps, um, talking about some of the things that we liked with the previous Gears of War games and uh, the expectations for the new Gears of War 4 or whatever you guys want to call it that's coming out whenever. Um, and some people still don't know that, that uh, this has been announced. It was announced back in spring. Microsoft bought uh, the Gears of War uh, franchise from Epic Games for some undisclosed sum. And now Black Tusk Studio is the studio responsible for uh, developing Gears of War. So still seeing some people like, hey, this, is, this got announced? This is coming out on Xbox? Yes. I don't know where you've been, but the, yes, it is. Um, so that being said... Um, you know, the things that I liked about Gears of War's uh, maps, uh, you know, it seemed like all of them had uh, a level of uh, strategic input. And I think there's there's also, I think that was kind of revolving around the game modes, but, um, you know, the maps were symmetrical. Um, you know, most of the time there was a central uh, power weapon location that people had uh, to kind of fight over. And um, in Gears of War 3, I think we saw kind of an expansion on that with kind of like the three lane rule that we kind of saw with a lot of the map uh, design. There was three lanes, so it kind of opened up the opportunity to have, you know, more flanks, more strategies. And uh, the allocation of power weapons was a lot more, I think, fair in Gears of War 3. And it wasn't focused on one center point that ended up slowing down gameplay. So that's... Uh, Kind of like the evolution that we saw. Gears 2 was was more the same, uh, I think, from a, kind of like an evolution of Gears 1. And Gears 3 kind of, um, you know, evolved out of that. Judgment had a lot more verticality in the maps. And it seemed like they were built specifically for free-for-all. And, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like any of the maps were necessarily bad. I, I specifically like, I think it was called Streets. Uh, it was a pretty fun map. Uh, the other one was uh, Gondola. Uh and that one was interesting. It was, a, I mean, very, very, very extremely uh, free-for-all uh, friendly. And uh, I can't even remember the other maps. Uh, they, they just weren't that memorable to me. But, uh, you know, th obviously they introduced the verticality. I think that added another element of uh, to the game. I don't necessarily know that uh, if I would agree that, and I'm sure you guys would as well, that those maps fit with other game modes they fit with free-for-all just fine but uh you know trying to play execution on gondola was was painful uh, to say the least so with the new gears of war i think i would like to see maybe more games spe game mode specific maps as long as um you know you were able to hit a comfortable number of maps in the rotation i would say probably somewhere past six um, I would say somewhere in between six to eight. Uh, I don't know what the final map count should be. Hopefully, you know, if, if uh, you know, Titanfall has shown us anything, having a lot of maps actually adds a lot of value uh, to the game. They actually were released with 15 maps um, at the, the start of the game. So none, nothing really felt old, um, at least to me, um, you know, a couple months out into the game. Whereas, you know, if we look back at uh, Gears Judgment, for example, four maps got old really quick. And, uh, you know, playing the catch-up game with DLC on the maps wasn't uh, fun, to, to say the least. The thing that I feel like uh, with, you know, I'm kind of talking about DLC. This is a different, separate topic, I think, altogether. But I'm really hoping that we see a different approach with uh, map development and uh, the release of new maps. I would honestly love if uh, the maps were, were just free and they decided to pay, like have you pay for different content, be it characters, weapon skins, just not maps. Because what that ends up doing, and I, I, I've talked about this multiple, multiple, multiple times, is that it segregates the playlist population when you have this DLC that comes out that some people buy, some people don't. And it's all really based on maps. Sure, some game modes might get thrown in there that's perfectly fine if you want to play a new game mode i think maybe that could be a part of of dlc but when you talk about maps you're talking about splitting and segregating the uh the population it's not fun um you know to, to play with 
500 people as opposed to, you know, however many thousands of people uh, don't buy uh, the DLC. So I'm hoping that they kind of think about that structure and release maps to everyone. That way everyone can play the maps and enjoy them and figure out something else to monetize because the map stuff is getting old. Skyless and I have talked about it multiple times on Frag Logic. I've talked about it multiple times on previous Gears videos, and that's something that I would like to see uh, change. Now, in terms of the design of the maps, personally, um, you know, I could span from Gears 1 to Gears Judgment, I think, on, on maps that I really enjoyed. Uh, I mentioned Streets as the Judgment map that I, I can kind of pick out, and that might be the only one. But uh, Gears 1, you know, Gridlock was, was awesome. War Machine was probably my favorite map of all time in Gears of War. Gears 2, you had like Security, Pavilion, Jacinto. Gears 3 was Old Town for me. Checkout was awesome. Uh, Hotel was also another one I really enjoyed. So each map, uh, each game had, you know, map designs that I feel like, um, you know, kind of set a benchmark for the game. So I'm hoping that we see some very iconic maps, um, you know, develop in the course of, uh, of Gears of Wars 4's, you know, time that we get to play. That's that's something that I'm really kind of looking forward to. Now, uh, other than that, I mean, the only other thing I want to talk about, but it's going to be in a separate video, is the spawn system within the maps. And I think that's more um, like a game mode spawn system discussion. So that's probably what I'm going to do uh, next week, uh, maybe the week after. I'm going to see how I want to kind of break that out and kind of talk about it. But uh, interested to know what kind of maps uh, you guys would like to play. Uh, do you want them to be do you want them to have any verticality? Like I said, I don't mind it as long as as long as it's game mode specific um, Yeah, you could throw the verticality and, and play free for all day uh, But it really has to fit the design of the, the mode You can't just throw every every map on 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 every mode. It just doesn't work. We found that out. It doesn't work so I uh, really want to know what you guys have to say about it um, I'll be checking out the comments if you don't know already I post these videos, uh, Gears videos, every uh, week on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. I post videos every day at 2 p.m. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. What's the deal? Come on now. Quit playing. Quit playing with me. All right, y'all. Check you later. Stay frosty. So you missed my previous Gears video, huh? Well, luckily for you, it's right there. Just, just click right there. Come on. What are you waiting on? Just click. Click it. It's right there for you. Come on. This is unnecessary.